Hey guys, uh, welcome to this video and in this video we are going to look at the Commvault's core infrastructure design. So we all know Commvault is one of the market leader in backup and recovery software but no more it's called as a backup and recovery software. It's the information management, um, data management software. So we are going to have an in-depth uh, overview of how Commvault, um, the core infrastructure design works and we are also going to see uh, the design questions that comes when you are designing a Commvault environment. So let's get started. And I would like to make this, uh, you know, very interactive. So we'll get started by drawing some pictures. So the first and the foremost component that we have uh, is um, the ComServe. So let me draw the picture. So, um, sorry. So, this is a ComServe. So, what ComServe does is basically it does four functions. One is the administration. So let us draw this too. So one of the function, so it does four functions, right? I'm not so good in drawing, but I think this will articulate to what uh, I'm trying to present. So it does four functions. The first one is it does administration. And see, we need uh, a backup software which does uh, real time and you know enhanced graphical based reporting. So the other thing it does is reporting. And the third one is it helps in the disaster recovery. We take the entire backup of the comm serve uh, to another location, to another comm serve and we can fail back and fail over between these two comm serves. So the most important thing is the disaster recovery. See, we need um, you know, a centralized a master server to manage all the events and different error codes and everything. So comm serve holds the database which does event orchestration. So this is the main four functions of um, ComServe. It's a graphical user interface that can be installed on Windows um, and it does all these uh, functions. So in the core infrastructure design, we also have a component called Media Agent. So let's draw the Media Agent. Uh, a Media Agent can be a Windows server as well as a Linux server or it can Differently, it supports a lot of operating systems. So uh, we call this as a media agent. Let's say MA. So this also does four functions. So I'm not going to draw the lines because it's taking a lot of time. So the first function it does is it ingests uh, data streams. From uh, different clients, it ingests the data stream and writes the uh, data to the backend uh, backup storage. So <coughs> it also has something called a content store. So it writes the data to the content store. So content store is the backend, uh, you know, uh, the backend um, uh, backup storage that is provided, and. Uh, Media Agent also has a capability of Snapshot Creator and it also does uh, what we call as Job Indexes. So all the data movement, uh, we can call uh, a Media Agent has a data mover. It moves the data from the client to the backend storage. So it's, it's mainly its role is as a data mover. 
So we have the core architecture and when it comes to design questions, see a ComServe uh, can be a centralized location, but you have multiple media, media agents to stream the data to uh, different clients, uh, to different backup storage. So when we are doing the core design architecture, we will have a lot of design questions. Now you might have come up with a lot of questions like uh, how many sites you are protecting? Where must the protected copies reside? How many clients will be managed? And how much data will be managed in each site? So according to these design questions, you can actually do um, a Commvault design. And we have different types of designs. Uh, so just let me remove all these things. Okay, we have uh, a, a normal DC. Uh, let's call it as a production uh, data center. And we also have uh, a standby data center. Uh, we call it as a DR site. So what happens here is uh, the Commvault, uh, the Commserve, uh, we maintain one copy of Commserve here and the other copy here. And both will be in sync. This is the production data center with the DR site. Or you can have a multiple uh, production data centers and you can have a single um, DR site. So we can do one to many, many to one, or all these different kinds of, um, you know, uh, uh, the DR capabilities in Commvault. So one more thing I would like to talk about, uh, especially in this video, is infrastructure placement considerations. So we need to look at the WAN availability, not um, necessary for the production but extra van traffic for job control and checking and uh, the most biggest problem with um, convert is the dr process has um, more steps and takes very long uh, durations to run in um, you know a real-time environment and we are also going to discuss a little bit about um, media agent um, placement uh, how we are going to place the media agent, where we are going to place the media agent is very important. Uh, this is uh, both for the local backups as well as the secondary production copies. So ComServe basically comes in three uh, different um, things. So we have work group which has uh, less than um, 2500 servers and we have a data center edition which comes with let's say 2,500 to 5,000, so less than 5,000 um, servers. And we have enterprise edition, which will have uh, 5,000 to 10,000. So let's say 10,000 um, servers. So a virtual com server can also be, you know, used. It's not that we require a physical server uh, as a com server. A virtual com server can also be used. But, um, you know, uh, what we can say, it's, it, it can attain only 60% of performance only. So compared to a physical comp serve and a virtual comp serve, physical comp serve uh, can be at 100% utilization. And when you're designing a virtual comp serve, make sure you uh, downgrade, uh, downsize that to 60%. So we have the sizing of media agents. How do we size media agents? See, for every thousand clients, with 80 TB of backup, uh, which requires 4 TB per hour, which is 20 um, thing. So you would say each com serve can process one terabyte of data per hour. So if, for example, you have uh, a 20 terabyte backup volume that is your backing up. So you have a backup window of five hours. So uh, it's just a small calculation. Uh, tell me how many um, media agents are required. It's so simple. The calculation is we have a five hours backup window and we have 20 terabytes of data that needs to be backed up. So um, in five hours, basically, it can process five uh, terabytes of data. So we need four uh, media agents to fulfill this uh, requirement. So uh, 
uh, that's it uh, for this video and stay tuned for more videos like this and I hope this video is informative to you. Please do share information if you have, uh, you know, um, uh, training programs or something, you can share it with me. And thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.